Hi, this is Math 2, Unit 9, Worksheet Number 2, Multiplying Polynomials. And today we're going to be looking first off at using what's called an area model. And we're going to multiply using the area model and then write the problems that are being modeled in our solution. So what this means, we take a look at kind of like a square or a rectangle, kind of like you do an area. When you do area, you multiply the length times the width. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do 2x times 4. And 2x times 4 for this space is going to be equal to 8x. If you want to find the area of this space, it'd be 5, that length, times this height, which is still 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. So what we're doing here is we're taking the number 4, and we're basically multiplying it by this expression right there, 2x plus 5. And then we distribute 4 times 2x, 4 times 5, and we end up with 8x plus 20. And that's what's being done there. For number three, again the same idea, we have x minus three. And here we have x minus five. And if you change the order there, write it differently, that's okay. You could do x minus five times x minus three, not a big deal. So in this box, we have x times x, which becomes x squared. Here I can take an x times a negative five. Don't forget that negative five right there. x times a negative five becomes a negative five x. Here I have an x times a negative three, which becomes a negative three x. And I do a negative three times a negative five, which becomes a positive 15. All right, so now when I put that all together, I have an x squared. I can see my like terms here, negative five and a minus three. So five, negative five minus three is a negative eight x, keep the x there, and then I still have the 15 at the end. So that's the idea there. You have the same thing for numbers two and four. Even though it goes out three times, that's okay. You're still gonna multiply seven in by each piece of that. And over here, don't forget this is a negative two, and here we have a negative x. So keep that in mind as you work through those equations there. Let's move down to the next section, which is simplifying each expression and writing it in standard form. So we're gonna simplify and write in standard form. So this is just a lot of just repetition, a little practice here. So distribute here the 2x. I do the 2x times x, which is 2x squared. I do 2x times 4, and that becomes plus an 8x. And I come down here and do a 3 times x, which is plus 3x. And then I do a 3 times 4, which is plus 12. Now I'm going to combine some like terms, which are typically in the middle here. So I end up with a 2x squared, 8 plus 3 is 11. So I have 11x plus 12 for my solution for number 5. Looking at number 7, same idea. 2m times m is 2m squared. 2m times a negative 4 is a negative 8. Keep the m. Down here I have 7 times m, which is plus 7m. And here I do 7 times negative 4, which is negative 28. Before I'm done, I need to combine like terms, which again are usually in the middle for these expressions. So we have 2m squared, negative eight plus one is a negative one. So I could write negative one m, or just negative m is fine, minus 28, just like that. Number nine, this one, I can rewrite this. This is x plus eight squared. So that's the same as x plus eight times x plus eight. All right, so when we do this one, we're gonna multiply x times x is x squared. x times eight is eight x. Eight times x is eight x. And eight times eight is 64. Combine my like terms. So I have x squared plus eight plus eight is 16 x plus 64. All right, number 11. For number 11, Okay, first thing we can do is we can take the 4 and we can distribute the 4 all the way through uh, this first one, or we could just ignore the 4 till the end. There's different ways you can go about doing this. For now, let's go ahead and just hold off on the 4 real quick, all right? Um, yeah, let's hold off on the 4 just for now. Pretend it's not there. Let's do what we know how to do, okay? So let's do a times 3a, which is 3a squared, a times minus 2, which is negative 2a. 2 times 3a is a positive 6a, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, all right? And so I'm going to take that there and have the 4 still on the outside. I need to combine my like terms, so there's my negative 2 and a positive 6, so that becomes 3a squared plus 4a minus 4, 
and the four still on the outside. And now I can take the four and distribute all the way through. So four times three is 12 a squared. Four times four is 16 a. And four times negative four is negative 16. All right, and that works just like that. Again, if I chose to, what I could have done is just in the four first and gone to the four and combine that together and then distribute the whole thing. It's up to you. Number 13, okay, let's take a look at this one here. Same idea, I'm gonna go ahead and do y times y, which is y squared, y times seven, which is seven y, six times y, or negative six y, and negative six times seven is negative 42. Again, that's still gonna be multiplied by three. Combine my like terms, I have a seven y and a negative six y, which is negative y. So I have y squared minus y minus 42, all times three. And we'll distribute the three all the way through. So we end up with three y squared minus three y and three times negative 42 is negative 126. And that's that one. Number 15, gonna distribute here. So we have a times a is a squared. And then we have a negative 13a here, negative 13a and negative 13 times negative 13 is a positive 169. Combine our like terms, so we end up with a squared plus, I'm oh sorry, not plus, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm adding them up, which I am, 13 and 13 is 26, but it's still negative, negative 26a plus 169 for number 15. All right, let's flip it over to the back side and see what we have next. Oops, there we go, number 17. We have five h minus three squared. So again, that just means I re can rewrite it as five h minus three like this. And then we can distribute. So five times five is 25 and h squared. Five times h times negative three is negative 15 h. Negative three times five h is negative 15 h. And negative three times negative three is a positive nine. Combine our like terms, a negative 15 and negative 15, combine to make a negative 30h, and I just bring down the nine, and the 25h squared to be done with number 17. For number 19, again, let's try it this way here. Let's distribute the first term. So two times five is 10c, and then two times one is two. So now I have 10c plus two, and I still have then the three c plus four. So I can distribute this now. 10 times three is 30 C squared. 10 times four is gonna be 40 C, oops, plus. And then two times three is six C. And then two times four is eight. Combine our like terms. So we end up with 30 C squared plus 46. 40 plus six is six C plus eight. 21, gonna distribute this one here. This is our first time we can see something that looks um, like I have um, kind of the opposite, right? I have a negative four and a positive four. These ones are kind of fun, right? Up here, it's the same term, so I'm combining, but this is what happens when they're different. Three n times three n is nine n squared. Three n times four is plus 12 n. Negative four times three is negative 12 n. And negative four times positive four is going to be negative 16. So now when I combine the middle terms, plus 12 and minus 12, they go away. Now all I'll have left is nine in squared minus 16. Okay, that's a great one there. We'll have more of these coming up in the next couple of lessons. All right, number 23. 23 is a little longer, but it's really not that different, okay? We're gonna take each term to now distribute it through three terms at a time. So just a little longer, so P, times 2p squared becomes 2p to the third. Just remember, adding exponents, one plus two. p times 3p is plus 3p squared. All right, and then p times a negative 35 is a negative 35p. Now I do the negative four. Negative four times two is gonna be a negative 8p squared. Negative four times 3p is a plus, uh, sorry, not plus, is a minus, 12p and negative 4 times a negative 35 will be a positive 140. 
combining my like terms, I know I have the two piece, the third is still there, but here I have a plus three piece squared and a minus eight piece squared. So those are gonna combine negative eight, positive three become a negative five P squared. Then I see I have a negative 35 and a negative 12. That combines to make a negative 47 P and the 140 is just by itself. So a little bit longer process, but the same process. All right, same idea here for number 25, same idea. So we're gonna take the 16 and we're gonna distribute over here. So six times five is 30 T to the third. Six times three is 18 T squared. And six times a negative 11 is negative 66 T. And then we do the same with a negative one. Negative one times five is a negative 5t squared, negative 1 times 3t is negative 3t, and negative 1 times negative 11 is a positive 11. All right, now we combine things. So there's my 30t to the third, no problem. Here is a positive 18t squared, a negative 5t squared, which combined to make a positive 13. 18 minus 5 is 13t squared. Here are my t's, negative 66 and negative 3. Combine to make a negative 69t, and I still have the 11, and that's what I get for 25. 27, we're gonna distribute, and then distribute again is the idea here. So here we go, 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times negative three is negative six x. One times x is just plain old x, and one times negative three is negative three, okay? I'm gonna combine those like terms real quick before I do my next part. And I have two x squared uh, minus five x minus three, okay? So that's just the first part. Now I still need to multiply by that. So I bring that over here, x minus five. And now we distribute that one all the way through. So x times two x squared is two x cubed. X times negative five x is negative five x squared x times negative three is negative three x. Do the same with a negative five. Negative five times two x is negative 10 x squared. Here we end up with a positive 25 x and then a positive 15 right there. Okay, I think we're okay there so far. Looking at my notes. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're good. So cubed is by itself, two x cubed. Here's a square and a square, negative five and negative 10 combined to make a negative 15 x squared. Here's an x and an x, so 25 minus three gets you 22 x, and then 15 stays by itself. So again, a little long process, but it does work out okay. That's it for today, we'll see you next time.